Hey everybody, Joey here. Welcome back for an adventure and a trip to QB Point. Reliving some old days for the old sailors that have been uh, been gone since about 1992. I was here in 1980, 82, and 83 at HS6, the helicopter at the Submarine Warfare Squadron 6. Sailed on the Connie and then sailed on the Enterprise. So, wonderful, wonderful memories. Although there's probably a lot of things I don't remember that other people will. But hopefully hopefully you will enjoy this little trip. That little still shot, I took on a bridge coming down through Flora Blanca. And now we're just making our way towards QB Point. And the home of the Ambush Monkeys. For the people that remember this, I'd love to hear your comments. But remember, we, were, we had to ride in the in the van or a bus because the monkeys would throw rocks at us in the jeeps. I was I was really surprised when I came through here and I saw probably the descendants of the rock throwing ambush monkeys on both sides of the road. It really was kind of cool thing to see and you will see them popping up here on the screen shortly. By the way, if you like this type of video, if you enjoy the information, please like, subscribe, and donate to the channel via the links below. There are the monkeys. The ambush monkeys, both sides. They're those small little pesty things. I did some Googling. Google, what do monkeys use rocks for? And you may get a little chuckle. Maybe you find out why they used to throw rocks at us. Maybe we were interrupting something. We're going to climb up the hill shortly and see what the base looks like now, 40 years after I've been gone. And I don't know why they have a guard here, but carrying a double stack, so uh, he has more than most people. Such a pretty ride. I don't know how much of this looks familiar to everybody. You're going to see some things that will probably make you a little bit sad. I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. They have some nice things here. That's a picture from the side of the road. This is really just beautiful scenery. Flowers, beautiful. Now, climbing up the hill, this is the look back. If we were to look over our shoulder, this was the shot I took looking back down the hill. Just beautiful. So about half of the buildings are, I don't know, refurbished, being used for something, and maybe half of them aren't. So there's a lot of just trashed out, nasty old buildings that have been abandoned. And really, I don't think they could ever be reclaimed. So I guess they should probably be torn down. But, you know, it costs money, and you have to have a reason to do it. So there is a lot of a lot of decay here, next to a lot of beauty. Kind of sad. Now I'll give you a little bit better view of this building on the left here as we get up to the corner. There you go, there's a shot of it. So you can see the detail. And on the right, there's another building there. That is the Blue Ribbon English Trading Center. Defunct, obviously. All right, let's cruise. Anybody that had a car here used to go to the auto hobby shop and work on their cars. And then there was a bowling alley here. People used to go to a bowling alley and obviously the officer's club back there. Lots of, lots of memories for a lot of people, I'm sure. Just doing some sightseeing, no rush, just kind of taking it all in. I 
All right, heading down towards the Otto Hobby Shop. This would be a perfect place for a zombie movie. May have been a good place for a zombie movie back when we were there. Had enough to drink, we were all zombies. Yeah, so this is the Otto Hobby Shop on the right. And apparently people are living in it because we're going to circle around to the back and you'll see some laundry hanging up and it looks like it looks like it's occupied by some folks. I tell you, I couldn't have asked for a better day. Beautiful weather. It was around 85 degrees. Just stunning. Right, this is the back of the auto hobby shop, and like I said, there's some laundry. And Lucky Strike Bowling Lanes. Okay, now we're going to the, uh, to the crazy guard dog, and I don't know how dangerous this dog was, if he just lacked attention or what, but I didn't notice. Luckily, the 360 camera caught it, but I came down to here to the end of this and kind of checking it out. A little restricted area, and you see the dog come running up. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm turning around. So as I'm turning around, <laughs> I had no clue that little bugger had snuck through the fence, and now I'm just easing my way out until all of a sudden, whoa, there he is. <laughs> he was about to nip at my heel. Lightning fast reflexes. All right, enough of that dog. I'm out of here. What we're going to do is just kind of take a cruise around the perimeter and then we'll head to All Hands Beach before we blow this place. Enjoy the sightseeing. Isn't it beautiful? If you didn't see enough of it the first time, a couple places I've looped around. All right, I got lucky. I was here taking pictures. The police showed up, and they made her leave. Now, look at their hands. That's slow motion. And they just waved at me. They told that mom and her daughter that she had to get out of there, that they was prohibited to stop. I guess I just have, like, a magic aura where everybody's just nice to me. Beautiful blue water. Just stunning. Hard to believe so many years have gone by. 40 years for me. Yeah, I don't know if, if people that used to fly in and out of here, if you remember the bats. I have a, a friend who's a member of the Sea Wolves in Vietnam. And if you don't know who the Sea Wolves are, Google them. They are actually in the, uh, the Navy SEALs Museum. These guys were the most decorated squadron in naval aviation history, and they never existed in the United States. Really, really gallant action. Just brave guys. But one of my buddies was a, was a pilot in the Sea Wolves. He used to fly in and out of QB here, and he used to complain about the bats all the time. So I don't know if you remember the bats. Are all hands beach. Is this not beautiful? What a great place. I'll tell you what, I'm really blessed to be living here. I'm so happy I decided to move. You can do it too. Now as we roll out, we're going to see part of the airfield and stuff. Yeah, there's a couple of fill air jets that obviously aren't being used anymore. So I hope you enjoyed the little trip down memory lane, QB, the ambush monkeys, and all the other good stuff. Please like, subscribe, and support the channel. Till next time, put some adventure into your life. Joey out.